Joining me at uh, Edgar Street, Hereford Interim Manager Jan Kukowski. Um Your players certainly work for you tonight. Yeah, they uh, put in a magnificent shift. Um, you know, I only really worked on that change of shape one day, so to apply that um, and have a good game understanding. Um, and then to, to do that tonight and, and give the fans a, a fantastic performance was really, really pleasing. Uh, I must say that was a, a point and a result for, for Josh. Um, he's uh, sadly departed us. Uh, but the group work, we're desperate to get a win for him to show our appreciation for the work that he's done uh, and, and bringing us all to the football club. Um, so that wins for him, it's for the, for the fans um, and for the whole club in general. I thought the players showed good applications throughout the 90 minutes. Yeah, they competed. They did everything that we didn't do against Varsley. You know, the, the basics of the game. Um, they competed, first contact, second balls. Um, there's a real togetherness if, if people made mistakes um, or, or slipped on a very difficult surface. Um, we had people backing each other up. Um, so a testament to their attitude and application, uh, really, really pleased. And I was really encouraged to Jack Holmes coming on, he got the Man of the Match award. Uh, he obviously seems bright and energetic when he's on the front foot. Yeah, he's a talent. Yeah, and if we can get him going, he's, he's going to be a real threat in this league. Um, the way he receives the ball, he can twist and turn out such tight, congested areas. Um, he's fantastic and, and he gets people off their seat. So hopefully he can get a run of games and hopefully he can get a few goals and um, keep building on that confidence and building on that performance this evening. And you, obviously substitutions made a difference as well, I thought, to Hereford. Yeah, but they can only make a difference um, because of the boys that have worked before and the boys have had to take off. I thought the, the work rate was, was phenomenal. And then you're always asking your substitutes to make an impact. Uh, and Tyrone and Dan did that. And you got a clean sheet, so all in all, perf almost a perfect night for you. Yeah, I think the first half was important. You know, they they dominated, a bit, dominated a bit of territory uh, and we had to dig in. Um, as always, it's difficult going up that slope here at Edgar Street. Um, so to do the basics well and be solid uh, and it gives you a foundation I mean, if you keep clean sheets and you've always got an opportunity to win games with the attacking boys that we've got in the squad. And you know as well as I do how tough this division is and how close it is from say the bottom six to the top six. Yeah I think back to back wins um, you know probably potentially jumps you four or five places so we'll be looking to do that Saturday. Um, I've congratulated the boys but now the focus turns to Saturday and Thursday session try and get them rested and uh, recuperate as quickly as possible um, but just to reinforce again uh, what, what team effort it was um, everything, everybody from the staff uh, to the players and to the fans have contributed in a, in a fantastic night for the club Tyrone Barnett came back in scored the important penalty um, any other players that are on the fringes with injuries are they likely anybody else likely to come back at the weekend uh, we are, we've got a couple that are close um, Saturday probably comes a little bit too soon for them um, lots of the boys have potentially returned to train on Thursday um, but that's great for us. You know, it, it's a real boost to, to morale to see these boys returning, uh, and we've had some big players out. You know, some senior players and lads that have actually had really good seasons for us. So um, we hope they come back in and give a give us another injection of quality um, and add to the squad. You seem to tweak a little bit in centre field. Did that did that help you tonight? Do you feel? Yeah, we, we had an extra body in there. Um, you know, the tactics to change the shape was something that me and Josh discussed on Saturday, um, and, and the way that we wanted that to work tonight with with the the players that we had available. So we, we picked a formation that we felt suited the players that we had in the building. Um, and then we've got really good flexibility with the players come off the bench that can fill those roles as well. So I think that's why the substitutes were tonight. Um, we, they kind of change like for like, um, but they bring different styles within their own playing style. Um, so I was pleased for those boys that, that made an impact. Now in the weekend, Alfreton are a team that I call hard-nosed, typical National League North. Um, so that'll be another battle, won't it? Absolutely. You know, it's. Uh, it's a tough division. As I said before, you have to compete. You have to do the basics very, very well. Um, and an Alfred's on the side that have been flirting with the playoffs for the last couple of years. So um, we have to be consistent. That's been uh, one of the issues this year is that consistency. Um, so looking to go back to back, um, similar to, similarly to what we did uh, early in the season, uh, and just build some confidence and momentum. Well, well done tonight, and thank you very much. Thanks for your time. Thank you.